Okay friends, my patterns are all finished and so now I'm ready to paint. When I paint, I'm going to take my paintbrush, put it in my water, then I'm going to put it in my paints. I want to make sure my paintbrush is really wet because that's going to help my resist work better. As I paint, I'm going to be careful not to go over these lines. I'm going to keep getting more water and more paint to carefully fill my whole line. And again, I'm being careful not to paint over this line. When I'm ready for my next one, I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to think about making a pattern. I made an A, B, C pattern because it goes A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. So I'm going to think about doing an A, B, C pattern with my colors. So I think my pattern is going to be purple, blue, and pink. I love those colors. So I'm going to do an ABC pattern with my colors as well. My pattern is going to be purple, blue, and then pink. As I'm painting, I'm going to try not to paint on my line because that's going to help keep my colors from blending together. So you can leave a little bit of space between those colors. Make sure your paintbrush is really wet. That's going to help your resist show up really well. You can see my white crayon is just jumping off the page now that I add my pink paint. So again, I'm doing an ABC pattern. My pattern is purple, blue, pink, which means I'm going to have to start with purple here. And again, I'm keeping my brush nice and wet. That's going to help my resist show up really well. And I'm doing my best to stay off my lines. That way my colors don't bleed together and I can see that beautiful pattern. Okay, my patterns are all finished. Now I'm ready to go put them on the drying rack. Now it's your turn. Have fun, amazing artists.